in a night where they were celebrating a lot of firsts, all it took was four minutes of what they called sleepiness to allow it to go from what could have been one and oh to O oh and one. Losing the momentum uh, that dramatically is sometimes hard to get back, but um, I thought we battled right to the end. We had some good looks, but obviously um, letting a team back into the game like that is not what you want to let happen at all. But the first game of the season brought out a lot of other firsts, like the first captain named since 2022, and the first time Jordan Eberle has ever been captain in his entire career. Pretty honored to be a captain this league. It's, it's pretty special. So, um, you know, I like to think that our group, we have a lot of good leaders. I mean, we've done it for years. We've got a lot of guys who've got cups, guys who have playoff experience, and uh, you know, to be a part of this group is, is special. The first time a female bench coach made her debut in a regular season NHL game and got the biggest reception of the day. I don't think it can be overlooked. Certainly making a statement around the world for all women. Um, so special moment for her tonight. And it was a full circle moment for her mentor. Dan Bilesma back behind the bench of an NHL team for the first time since 2017. I think we all think we have something to prove, whether it's our last year, every one of us has a mindset where we're gonna, we're gonna change this around and we're gonna do whatever it takes to, to put a winning product on the ice. With the pomp and circumstance behind them, it's now on to the rest of the 81 games. And the team said they actually liked the way they played for 56 minutes of it, especially when they stay out of the, the stuff. From Climate Pledge Arena, Ariel Orsuto, King 5 Sports.